The emulator is now loaded, and as you can see, our images are there. Let's get started. First, what we're gonna do is head over to Google and get your image, whatever image you want. I'm gonna just be getting a picture of a simple Android since we are in Android Studio. I'll take this picture right here. I'll right click it and press save image as. You can put it in whatever folder you want, but I'm going to be adding these pictures. I'm just going to name it, you can name it whatever you want. I'll just place it as Android. And then I'll press save. Now it saves right there. I'm just gonna exit it out. We're gonna head over to Android Studio. We're gonna head over to Activity Main, right here. And to put the photo in Android Studio, we have to put it in the res folder, which is where we get our drawables and images from. And to do this, we're gonna to go to res, press the drop down button. We're going to left click drawable, which is right here. Now you're gonna go back to your folders or wherever you place the image. And I want you to copy them. Right click and press copy. Now we're just gonna close this out and then we're gonna right click on drawable and then we're gonna press paste. I'm just gonna press okay. Okay. And now I want you to press the drawable drop down. And you see that our images are right here. So in to input them, we're gonna have to use what is called image view, which is right here. I'm gonna take out the hello world and I'm gonna drag down an image view. You can put it wherever you want. Once we open the image view, you will see that our images are right here. You can just double click and our image pops up. Don't forget to add the constraints. If you're in constraint layout or Android Studio will say you have an error. Now to do it for the next one, we're gonna just take out an image view again, place it right there, double click, and our image is here. I'm gonna do it one more time just to show you. We're gonna go to image view, place it down, double click, or you can just press okay. Both ways work, and our image is right here. Let's put it here. And I'll show you how this look on the emulator. I'm gonna start it up so you don't have to wait. The emulator is now loaded, and as you can see, our images are there. If you enjoyed this tutorial, go on to my channel and check out the other tutorials that I have. Mass Programmer out.